Hi everyone, my name is Heather Hadley. I'm the ladies apparel buyer here at Hagen Oaks. And today I wanted to talk to you guys about uh, my top 10 fashion trends heading into the summer. Okay, the first thing I wanna talk about today is the mixed media skirts that you're seeing everywhere. Uh, some of my favorites I grabbed off the floor. As you can see, I've got the GG Blue floral print, but also with this fringy fabric, makes it super cute and fun. Um, I initially thought that ladies would be kind of scared and resistant towards this, but this has been my best selling print. Um, another version of that is still the geometric print, but you're going to see it with layered, um, layered and mesh options on that. And this is uh, Lucky in Love, another really good selling brand for my shop. And the last uh, skirt I want to talk about today is the Beth De Pass skirt. It's got a five five or even six layered uh, fringe effect if you can see close up all those little fringes we call this the flapper skirt ladies love it all right my next trend and it has been a continuous one uh, the last couple years is my Jamie Sadox Sunsense tops they come in a few silhouettes the ones I grabbed today are the standard v-neck they are meant to be worn under your blouse uh, sleeveless or sleeved and it protects your arms for the most part and it gives you 30 F uh, SPF on the course there you go. <laughs> Another trend that I'm seeing is the transitional outfit, um, meaning one that you can wear on the course or off the course. This is a newer brand for us called Bell & Key, and it's got a really great elevated style, and that is why this is one of my top trends. A favorite trend of mine and one I'm really passionate about is the golf dress. I'm wearing uh, the Sans Soleil. It's a 50 UPF, and I've got mesh down the sleeves, keeps me super cool when I'm outside in 100 degree weather here in Sacramento. It's got a nice little subtle print and two pockets, which is really important. I pulled two more dresses um, if long sleeve isn't your thing. Catherine Way, this has been a, my best selling dress last spring and summer, so I brought in new prints. That has been really, really cute. And then also a sleeved dress by Betancourt with a little mixed media detail on the bottom. Another trend I'm seeing a lot in retail as well as golf fashion is the uh, ladies sleeveless mocks. Here are two different examples from a uh, smaller fun brand called Scout Sports. I own both of these and it's just really, really cute, different styling for on the course. Another really fun trend that I've been seeing lately is fun printed golf tops. A few I have here are the crazy awesome Nike floral top, which pretty much pulls out every single color. You could wear all kinds of stuff on the bottom with this. Um, my next kind of favorite piece is by Bad Birdie. This is more of a geometric print. It's got nice pastel coloring and probably would look really cool with a nice white skirt. And lastly, this one has been really popular uh, along with, so this is a pink zebra bold print polo. Um, Beth to pass. She also does these big bird polos, uh, nice ribbon detail and um, just really fun stuff going on right now. Obviously this isn't a new trend, uh, but one that's very important is headwear. Let me take my hair down for this. Get all ready. Hat, please. Wallaroo is my best selling hat brand. This is the Christie. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like I'm a model right now. There you no, go. anyways, um, the cool thing about these hats are they're not specifically for golf, they're for everything obviously, traveling, by the pool. Um, going to the California State Fair. Um, so I've got a lot of different styles. This is a new Laguna style um, and just different color options. Got a ton more, but that's it. Another trend that is slowly gaining traction is this uh, Jamie Sunsense Bolero. Um, it's very misunderstood in my shop. A lot of ladies are really resistant to it, but I wanted to show you guys firsthand. I'm gonna go and try it on and show you how cute it could look. All right, guys, I'm back. I've got the uh, latest collection on from Jamie Sadock, and I wanted to show you how to wear this bolero. Uh, let me unbutton it quickly. So it is giving me all the sun protection I need without taking away the style of my blouse. I think that it adds a kind of a cool elevated style, makes it look like a completely different shirt, and it's really lightweight and comfortable. Okay, there's two last things I wanna to talk to you guys about, but I'm gonna go make one wardrobe change and go back into my dress because my accessories match perfectly. Okay, <laughs> I'm back. 
and I'm responsibly wearing my uh, long sleeve UV50 uh, sans soleil dress. However, if I'm out on the course or doing other things, I'm still not protecting the top of my hands. So I've got these new ice rays in stock and what they do is they just cover the tops so then you are completely protected. I'm putting it on the wrong hand, let me change. Uh, there's a loop for the thumb <laughs> and the three fingers in the middle. My hands are really big, so give me a second. <laughs> and there you go. Um, I know a lot of ladies play with gloves, so maybe just wear one. They come in a pack of two, so you've got your glove on one hand and protection on the other. And the last piece of the puzzle in my accessory game is the crocodile clip. These are brand new to the shop. They've been a really good accessory for us. If you guys want to see all the different uh, ball marker styles, kind of some fun things, hips don't lie, uh, different colorways. They can go on your hat clip. I'm not wearing a hat. Um, they could go on my shoes. I'm not wearing shoes. Um, so what I would do is just put them right here on my uh, pocket, just like that, and go out. So that's all I have for you guys today. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys can come back and check out more of Heather's Hot Lists.